The aim of this lecture is to provide you with an overview of the role of modern railways in the mobility of people and goods and help you to understand many factors involved in developing and operating a railway system. After this lecture, you will have a clear idea about the advantages of modern railways compared to other means of transport and a view of the development of railway systems in the future. Now let's start with a brief introduction about the railway system. The railway system basically includes train and infrastructure. Depending on the mode of service, the trains can be roughly classified as passenger and freight trains. The former includes various types of trains, such as tram, commuter train, and high-speed train, which refers to the train running at a speed higher than 250 km per hour. The passenger train can be driven by a locomotive or multi-unit. Freight trains generally consist of one or more locomotives, hauling wagons which can be hopper cars, tanker cars, flat cars, etc. The railway system is a complex system. As an example, a modern passenger railway vehicle track system can be briefly described as the following subsystems. The overhead system consists of pantograph catenary coupled system, which supplies the power for the traction system of the train. The vehicle system includes cabody and boogies with or without the traction system. The well rail contact system is fundamental to railway transport, which is the interface between the train and the track. The track subgrid system, where the track can be ballasted or non-ballasted. The anatomy of a freight train is slightly different, which is actually simpler. Considering the different scopes of application of passenger and freight trains, the target of the design for each system is different. We are aiming at faster, safer, and more comfortable passenger trains, whereas for Freight wagons, the goals are mainly low maintenance, long distance running, and high capacity. We have many options in modern transport system. The advantages of railways compared to other means of transport, such as automobile and plane, are mainly First, low energy consumption, about one third compared to automobile. Second, low pollution, nearly 15% of automobile pollution and only 5% of the plane. Third, low accident rate, approximately 6% compared to automobile, where the lowest one is the plane, of course. The last, low external cost, which is around 20% compared to of the automobile and the plane. Thanks to those advantages, the need of railways in the global market keeps increasing. An analysis performed by SCI multi-client studies shows that the increasing runs of both passenger and freight services are expected to last until 2025, and possibly beyond this date. It is worth mentioning that the development of high-speed rails over the past decade is very impressive. The global high-speed rail traffic has been continuously on the rise. Moreover, the total length of high-speed lines in Europe and China has been significantly expanded. Especially in China, the length of high-speed line in operation has increased by a factor of 4 in 8 years. Despite these figures highlight that the railways are competitive on the transport market, it is not easy to promote a modal shift from other means of transport. This is due to the fact that, on the one hand, any means of transport has its own merits in certain contexts. And on the other hand, the modern railways are also facing challenges and limitations. Considering the traffic density as a function of the distance to be covered, it is clear that there are ranges of distance where different means of transport have advantages and hence take the largest share. We believe that, in the future, the relation among various means of transport will be complementation instead of computation.
A seamless intermodal transport system will be created by integrating all modes of transport, such as railway, road, air, and water with intelligent network, which will make the mobility of people and goods more efficient and productive. In conclusion, in this lecture, we covered the following points. First, railways are a modern means of transport for passengers and for freight. Second, railways can provide enhanced safety, reduced energy consumption, and far less pollution compared to roads. Third, railways are especially suited to solve mobility problems in urban areas and for an intermediate range of distance. Fourth, railways are also a fast-growing industry sector, and they can boost a nation's economy. Last but not least, an integrated transport system linked with intelligent network will provide a more efficient and productive service in the future.